There's one thing that I've been wanting to do for a little while now, and apparently you guys want this as well because it's been in my comments lately. Well, today, we're gonna be hunting for the alligator with the air rifle. Well, they're not exactly alligator, but we got a couple of feral hogs out here, and there's two sows right next to us. And so we got the air rifle. We might as well give her a shot. All right, so we got one right there at about 50. The other one's probably 25 yards. Trying to figure out which one we should go for first. And yes, we are going to try for a headshot. Perfect. Smoked him. And he tipped over right there. Alright, if we could just spot this thing. We could go for a shot. Oh, there it is. I see it. Hold on. Change of plans, guys, because we got some more hogs coming in, and it's a decent level three coming in here, as well as a female. This thing is going to be right below us, though, so I feel like we'll probably go open sights. Especially if it stops right there. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? Uh, it's alert. Oh, tried for a headshot. Didn't get it. Definitely hit something solid. Oh my god. I think he's trying to attack us. I don't even know. Oh, there it is. That should be a headshot. Oh, that's a nice shot. Dropped him right there. Got a spine shot, I believe. And then this here... Is the one that we tried for a headshot open sights, but he is not too happy about that. Oh my god. <laughs> it is honestly not safe for us to even get down from this tree stand. <laughs> like, we're completely stuck up here. <laughs> With this thing running around, there's nothing we can do to get out of here. What are we supposed to do? I mean, if it slows down for a second, we can maybe try for a shot, but... I really didn't plan on trying to hit a, a running hog with the air rifle open sights, but if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Well, that'll help take him down. Got a vital hit there. And we'll take one more to finish him off. All right, we got him. Now, it's officially safe. All right, first off, we're going to pick up the one that ran around the tree and guarded us. He's going to be at 84.0. That shot there was 17 yards out, and boy, did we get robbed on that shot. I told you. We literally nicked the top of the brain, and it didn't count. Oh, there's the raccoon I was looking for. There's the raccoon. All right, like I said, we'll keep an eye on her. But we got a couple more over here, so we'll pick these up. Here's... Oh, my God, that's still alive. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. It's still moving. All right, anyways, holy, so our shot was 24 yards out and we shot right above the brain first shot, second shot again. Actually, that shot should have been brain there. I don't quite understand why that didn't hit the brain. Then we finished it off with a nice right lung shot and almost got heart as well. And we got two more down over here. There's a perfect brain shot. There we go, same exact spot. I don't understand why this shot here connected on the brain and the other ones didn't. But at least we got one. And we got one more piled up down over there. And I think that actually might be it. Unless we got one more over there. Mm, nope. I think this is going to be it right here. All right. So first shot, shoulder blade shot running 11 yards out. Second shot, got him in the lung. 76 yards out and that lung shot actually did take him down all right you guys we got us on our first alligator out here he's 195 yards out now this is going to be extremely difficult because not only do we have to hit them but we have to hit them right perfectly dead center in the brain because if we don't we are not going to be getting these gator all right so this gator keeps going underwater and then popping back up but there he is right there at about 125 yards
Oh my god. It was so close. I don't quite understand that. That should have been 125 and it was 130. So I guess maybe that could have a little bit of a factor in why we didn't actually make that shot count. All right, there's a six right there. He's about 130 yards. And I just lost him. Oh, there he is. He came back up. Let's watch him. He's going to go behind that tree. Yeah, dude, he's 100 yards out from us. Oh, my God. He's in range. Now, we happen to have a tent over there, which is the tree stand that we were in before, and we took down all those wild hogs. If we got in that stand, something tells me this gator might come. Oh, dude, it's going to cross right here. It's 70 yards out from us. Oh, my God. It's going to cross right there. He's hit. He is hit. I think he's hit good. It looked really good to me. Might have been a tad bit low, but oh man. That was so awesome. All right, here we go. Our gator is moving. Getting a little bit closer. Not a lot, but a little bit. And there he is. He's up on shore. He's probably going to follow that female. And we're not going to get a shot. Unless I take one right now. <gasps> right over his head. Okay, so we're high. Oh my god, it's money. We hit him! We hit him! Oh, we, we hit him. Boy, these gators are tough. Well, we're hunting for gator, but apparently something else is hunting for the whitetail. And we just found a beautiful buck out here. I don't know where he went. I think that... Oh, that's him. That's him. That's him. How far is that? See, I can't tell, but that's him. 200 plus to 240. Oh, I don't really know how far he is. Not going to be a good angle for a shot either. It's another nice looking buck there, but he's nowhere near this buck here. Holy, there's another giant buck. Oh my God, that buck's even bigger. Oh, what happened? Oh my God, did you see that? We friggin' dropped him. I don't know what we hit, but frankly, it doesn't really matter. What I need to know is how far he was on that first shot and why we missed him so bad. According to that, he should have been roughly 240 yards, according to this rangefinder. But how far was he actually? 240 yards. All right, let's uh, mark that spot there. That was exactly 240 yards. There was no reason that that shot should have pushed super, super wide right and low. Absolutely no reason. Then we hit him at 320 on the run and dropped him with one shot. Now, I don't know where we hit. I really don't. But there's a gator over there, and I definitely want to try and get to that gator. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I can't tell. It's a five medium. And he is... Is he 300? Yeah, 300 yards out. Well, could be kind of cool to go for a shot on him, I suppose. 300 yards would be a bit of a crosswind. Maybe there. I don't even know where the heck we hit there, but, uh... Oh, okay, okay. That should be a hit then. Got him! Oh my god, we hit him! <laughs> Dude, we hit him right in the butt. So, I'm thinking that that actually might be an intestine hit. If we got up in there and hit something, that might take down that gator. Either way, we definitely hit something. Oh! Almost got a follow-up into him, too. 
One more shot. One more shot. Nope. He went down. All right. Let's go over here now and try and get this gator. All right, guys. There's our gator there. He's about 150 out right behind that tree. Now, I honestly don't think we can get any closer. Because if we do, we're not going to be able to see his head. And I can just barely see his eye right there. Barely. The closer we get, the further into that grass he gets. And the more it's going to be difficult for us to be able to see for a shot. But we're looking at uh, about 180 there. But I really need to know exactly what he is. Well, as much as I don't really want to do this, we're going to have to try and get closer. And I suppose that at least we can still see his eye. And if we can see his eye, then we'll have a pretty good idea on where to aim. There's those bucks out there. Decent looking eight pointer for sure. But you can see this grass here is pretty tall and very difficult to see. Oh my God, there he is. He's 50 yards. He's 50 yards right there. Come on, give me a shot. Give me a shot. We're crouched and he can see us. He's right there. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. Okay, go pro, go pro. Okay, guys, he's 55 yards. We're gonna hold right on the bottom of the brain. There he is, right there. Come on, that was perfect. I'm throwing another one into him. We're probably gonna throw a couple more into him too. He's hit three times, four times. Five times. Go, 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 go. Reload, reload, reload. He's going into the water, going into the water. Oh, oh. Holy, that thing is hit so many times. It's not even funny. I don't know why that first shot missed. I held right for the bottom of the brain and this thing shoots a tad bit high. So we should have gotten it. Oh my God, there he is, guys. He's coming up. He's coming up to the top. We got him. Okay, so we got our white tail buck down right there and our gator is floating in right over here. I gotta find out where we hit on that first shot. I just gotta know. All right, let's check out this gator. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him five times, 58 yards. Dude, does he not have a brain? What in the heck? Where's the brain? I do not see the brain. Can you not go for headshots on gators anymore? What in the heck is going on? Is it just that little blue spot right there? I don't know. But from now on, I am not going for a brain shot. I'll tell you that. From now on, we're going for a back of the neck shot. From now on, we're going for that. But we also hit it a couple more times. In fact, the second shot, 59 yards, we did get a lung shot. So a lung shot will take them down. Then we got a spine shot there. And a liver shot on the run there. And another lung shot 60 yards out there. So according to this, it looks like neck shots would work. So yeah, I think we're probably gonna go for a neck shot the next time we get a chance. And we gotta figure out exactly where that neck is. All right, so right there is his eye, the back of his head. Basically stay right at that line, go back about two inches. But for now, let's go over here and take a look at this big white tail buck that we got. And find out where we hit him as well. All right, so we took him at 320 yards and we can't tell where we hit him. No way. It's a goal. We saved that buck. 343 yards and we got him right in the back of the neck and a 216 gold. Beautiful white tail buck. Holy, what a heck of a save. What a heck of a buck. And more impressively, what a heck of a save. Wow. 
I still don't understand why that first shot didn't connect because we were holding for right here at 240 and it looked like we ended up hitting like here for some reason. But that save was just something else. And what a stunning looking buck too, huh? Look at that pose. All right, let's take a look at that shot. He was running just like this, 343 yards. And I was holding like right here for 320. Compensate for that trot, and we smoked him right in the back of the neck. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Ooh, there we go. This is the gator that we want right here. We got a seven very hard, max weight, huge gator out there at 220 yards. Now, he's laying out there, and he's pretty much broadside. So that's going to be perfect for our shot. I'd honestly like to get to 150. But I don't know if it's going to be possible. So I'm thinking if we get to 180, we'll go for a shot. Now, I've been studying a chart on where the neck actually is on this gator. So I got a really good idea on where to aim. And I'm super, super looking forward to trying to make this happen. So there's our gator right there. That's his front shoulder. And unfortunately, that's not going to be an opportunity for a shot. So we're going to have to try and slide over a little more to the right. And hopefully, we'll get an opportunity for a shot here. But right there, we're looking at about 160. As well as the time, I suppose. We literally have less than 13 minutes to be able to make this happen, you guys. Less than 13 minutes. Oh my god, I see his head. I see his head. Okay, he's still calm. He's still calm. He is about 130 yards right there. Let's check. 146. All right, we got to get out behind that. Oh, what do we got? Yeah, 150. All right, that's going to be our shot. Here we go. 125, 150. Going to be the 100, 125, 150. It's going to be the third dot down. It's a hit. It's definitely a hit. We need to follow up. We definitely need to follow up. Come on. Go, 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 go. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. There he is. There he is. Dude, get out of the water. I can't even spot him. Oh. He got into the water. And that's going to be Norgan's hit if I ever seen one. Yeah, blood rate very low, actually. No organs hit. Okay. So, it was a clean... Basically miss. Alright guys, well, we decided to come back to the exact same spot that that big 7 was at. And sure enough, there he is right there. Absolutely perfectly broadside. 250 yards. This time, we're going for a vital shot. We're going straight for a lung shot. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try and get to 150. Line up right behind that front shoulder. And squeeze the trigger. All right, guys, there's our gator there. We're closing in on a 150 yard mark. That's gonna be our shot right there. We're gonna hold it right below that spine and just above that front shoulder. Should be able to sink in there perfectly, get lung and or potentially even liver. We just wanna get a tad bit closer. So right there, we're looking at 160. 150. We want to be at exactly 150. And that is going to be our mark. 159. Okay, so according to this, we're looking at 140. Yeah, 147. So we got to back up a little bit, actually. 149. 150 right there all right here we go Boy, it's hard to see that thing isn't it holy 
Okay, good. He's moving. Well, not so good that he can see us. But it's good that he's actually moving to a better position. He's still at 150 there. Starting to get difficult to see him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, turn back. Turn back. Keep him right in the middle. Yeah, that's 100 right there. Yeah, that's 100 right there. All right, guys, we got up to 100 yards out from this gator. He's massive and he is right there. All we gotta do is get him to turn. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. I'm thinking we could get his attention by jumping. All right, it worked, it worked, it worked. 100 yards, guys. There he is right there. Come on, turn. No, no, no. <sighs> this is not how I had what I had in mind for a shot on this thing. But I think we just freaking smoked him. <sighs> Come on, tell me one of those shots connected. Second shot definitely hit him in the spine. But did the first shot connect? Oh my God, you guys. It counted. We got him. It's going to be quite a while for him to actually go down. But we definitely got him. Holy. Took him out of the run at about 80 yards out with the air rifle. And we got him. Then we put a follow up right there as well. So... He should be flown up. Oh my god, there he is. He floated up to the top, guys. Oh, I'm so pumped. We got ourselves a giant gator down with the air rifle and a shot right to the lungs. So you guys don't know this, but I've been trying to get this gator for the past 25 minutes. And just when I wanted to stop trying, we went for one more chance and we made it count. Oh, I was going to say that should be a gold. What the heck? Um, but you can't use the air rifle on the alligator, which is to be expected. <laughs> He's going to be a 425.52, 925 pound, huge gator. We took him at 60 yards on the run and made an epic left lung shot right there, guys. Holy. It is possible. It is definitely possible. Wow. But again, I am not seeing the brain in this gator. So yeah, we're not going for any more headshots. Unless it's that tiny little spot right there. In which case, did it get smaller? I think they might have made the brain smaller. Because I can see it from this angle right here. But it is tiny. Like basically the eyeball is the size of the brain on this thing. Wow. Well, there we have it. Hunting gators with the air rifle. I definitely do not recommend trying this. It was a lot of fun, but it was extremely difficult. Anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Man, is that a massive gator. Look at the size of the tail on that thing.